Happy Wednesday. Welcome back to Chats with Chase, and here's your next tip. There's a pretty cool feature that I haven't seen used very much, but that could just be because people don't know about it. They're forming tools, and they can make it pretty quick and easy to replicate a certain procedure across several different parts. To use them, you just open up your design library and drag them onto the part. There are some extra options for controlling rotation, which side of the sheet metal it's on, and in these other tabs, you can place more instances of it. So they're quick and easy to use, and give a much cleaner feature tree than if you were to create all of these manually. Now, if you want to achieve something that isn't one of the predefined options in the library, you can create your own. Here, I have a part that's going to be the tool. Stepping through the features, just to show how I made it, I have this base, the cylinder, fillets to make it more natural, and then I removed the base. I only had it there to help me get these rounds. So now, to actually make this into a form tool, I'll use the forming tool button in the sheet metal tab. It'll prompt me to select the stopping face. This will be the plane where it kind of stops pressing into the sheet. In the faces to remove box, we don't have to choose anything for this to work, but whatever we select there will essentially be cut out in the final product, like the disconnected edges of the flap we made earlier. In the second section, we can choose an insertion point that allows us to better define where we place this. However, since I created this based on the origin, the default one works for me. After the feature is added, I'll choose to save as, change the file type to a form tool, and move it to the folder in the design library that I want. Now, I can hop back into the sheet metal we used earlier and test it out. Thanks for watching. Contact me with any questions and I'll see you tomorrow.